Hi, this is Devin with Inner Spark, and I'm back to talk about the emotional body. <sighs> and if you have been following along, you know that I'm sharing resources and information about creating whole being nourishment, and that involves looking at ourselves as these unique creatures with four distinct bodies. And so today, it's the emotional body. And this is our place of feelings. And an emotion is meant to be energy in motion. Feelings arise and are meant to then shift into something else entirely. Kind of like a wave. It builds, we ride it, it turns into something else as quickly as it built up. And so we can literally shake these off like we see animals do. I love, you know, my dog, whenever something happens, we'll just shake it off and he's good to go. We can laugh or cry. We can also do something creative like write or sing or dance to express ourselves and to keep this energy moving. However, we have received so many messages about being good or that big boys and big girls don't cry. Um, and it seems like our society really shies away from displays of emotion and so oftentimes people can end up fe feeling uncomfortable or ashamed or scared of their feelings and so emotions really at their core are messages they are keys to our empowerment and they offer us much clarity and freedom if we lean in and listen to the things that they are telling us when they become blocked or stagnant they end up storing themselves in our physical bodies and often as a result disease of some kind manifests and so things like tumors or cysts um, chronic sinus issues IBS um, constipation diarrhea um, I sound like a Pepto-Bismol commercial now but really many other Symptoms and conditions such as these, those pesky mystery symptoms, have been said to have their roots in the emotional body. And so there's a lot of things I like to work with with my clients around body metaphors. And um, that's also where I've mentioned before where the chakra system and the endocrine system really come into play, those blocked emotions. Um, and wherever the body is, is telling you something, often relate together. So now we're starting to build and see the connections between we've discussed physical body, now we're on to emotional and seeing the interconnectedness therein. Taking it a step further, the mental body, which I'll go into more detail about next time, it likes to gain more strength from an unchecked emotional body. So it gets to then perpetuate the beliefs that it might be telling you because it sees you're getting sad and so it'll keep going like, oh, see that self-fulfilling prophecy is true. It's like a annoying little brother or sister that likes to get your goat. So how do you have a healthy emotional body? You ready for this? The secret? Feel. Yeah. Feel. And so something that I do is to pause. Just take a moment just for yourself. Do it right now. Shut your eyes. Maybe place a hand on your heart, take a deep breath, and just literally ask yourself, and you can say it out loud, what am I feeling right now? And then pause, keep breathing, and listen. And then watch that energy. It will show up someplace in your body maybe. And just watch it dissipate and turn into something else entirely. Flower essences can also really support the fluidity and expressiveness of our emotional body. They're beautiful support for this. Um, as well as having a regular creative practice that I mentioned before. And so I'm curious, what are your favorite ways of expressing yourself? And if you feel scared or unable to do so, why do you think that is? And lastly, do you have any pesky mystery symptoms or conditions that you're currently experiencing on the physical level that you 
think you may be able to start to see a connection between the emotional body and the physical symptoms or conditions that you're experiencing. Please share with me and I will see you on the next video.